In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how the new constraint feature works. For this example, I will draw masks around both eyes, contouring the glasses. We don't want the masks to crop our image, so change the mask behavior to none. Then, I'll add Pixel Sorter 3. You'll see that we can select a single mask to use for the constraint, but in our case, I want to check Use All Masks. I will then shift the rotation to 90 degrees, since we want the effect to be vertical. Now let's increase the max threshold so we get longer streaks. The animation is done with the cycle setting. But for now, it is a little bit boring. Let's add some noise to get some variation in the sorting. Activating the stretch mode will bring back some of the original image, the eyes, on top of our effect, and I find that it contributes a lot to the look, at least in this example. Now by animating the cycle parameter, we get a waterfall effect, cycling through the sorted pixels. For the final touch, let's add a little bit of pop, from the look section, to highlight our sorted pixels. And here's how to create this pleasing, loopable animation.